Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks or Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is recommends sequence and it is an easy level problem. So the problem is very straightforward and simple. Although the problem statement might feel a little bit complex. So it basically says that we have to form the first n terms, right? And the first n terms be the terms up to 0 to n minus 1, right? The zeroth term is 0 itself and the nth term is defined as a of n minus 1 minus n. Now, this is only true if two conditions are satisfied. First of all, the first condition is a of n minus 1 minus n should be greater than 0 and it has not already been included in the sequence, right? These are the two conditions that we have. If these two are satisfied, only then we will proceed with this particular definition of a of n. Otherwise, we are going to mark a of n as a of n minus 1 plus n. So, these two things are very important here. The 0 term a of 0 is going to be 0. We have to form terms up till a of n minus 1, where a of n have two different values. The first value is a of n minus 1 minus n and the second value is a of n minus 1 plus n. This value will be true when this whole thing is greater than 0 and not already included, not already included right in the sequence and this value will be true when this condition is false right. So this is the first priority then we have this. So we just have to implement this particular problem. This part is very simple that you can just check the last element. This you can implement with any data structure like a set or a map and uh, I used set in this particular case. So as you can see what I have done is I have initialized my answer with the single value 0 because this is going to be my first element. Then I have created an unordered set called included which is going to save the included elements in the series. Now I just run a for loop from 1 to less than n and I have two variables add and sub. So I am just basically storing what is uh, the value if I add i to the last value and what is the value if I subtract i from the last value. So that I don't have to write this particular thing again and again. This is the only reason why I created these two variables. Now, if sub is greater than 0 and included dot find sub is equal to equal to included dot n. So this basically ensures the first state condition ensures that it is greater than 0 and the second condition ensures that this is not present in my included set. Now, if both of these conditions are satisfied, I push back this into my answer vector and also insert it into my included set. Otherwise, I, I'm going to push add into my answer vector and insert it into my included set. So you see add is nothing but answer dot back plus i. Now at the end I can just return my answer vector and this would be my final solution. So let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is correct. So you see this passes all the test cases and this solution is absolutely correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really really helps so YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.